Sharon Farrell, a beloved actress hailing from Sioux City, gained fame through her notable roles in the soap opera The Young and the Restless and various prominent films of the 1960s and 1970s. Tragically, she passed away in the spring at the age of 82, leaving a void in the hearts of her fans and loved ones. News of her passing remained undisclosed until late last week, as her sister, Del Candice Forsmoy, revealed the sad news in a heartfelt Facebook post. The cause of her death, however, remains a mystery. Sharon Farrell Born Sharon Lee Forsmoy on Christmas Eve in 1940 to parents Hazel Ruth Forsmoy and Darrell Lavallee Forsmoy, showcased her determination from an early age. In 1968 or 1969, she ingeniously altered her birth certificate, claiming to be born in 1946. This daring move secured her a role in the film The Ravers, when producers deemed her too old for the part. Her talent shone through, and she successfully landed the coveted role. After graduating from Central High School in 1958, Farrell set her sights on New York City, leaving her parents' home on Douglas Street to pursue her dreams as an actress and model. Her journey to stardom commenced when she was crowned Miss Brooklyn in early 1959. Soon after, she ventured to Cuba to star in the film Kiss Her Goodbye while signing a five-year contract with Eldorado Productions. As the years unfolded, she secured numerous television roles, garnered the title of Miss Greenwich Village Summer Queen and even became a contender for an MGM contract. Additionally, she acted as an understudy to Jane Fonda in the play There Was a Little Girl. Taking on the stage name Sharon Farrell as early as 1960, she attributed it to a clever amalgamation of the first letter of her original surname, Forsmoy, and her father's first name, Darrell. Sharon's talent caught the attention of Bob Hope, who brought her to Los Angeles for a TV pilot, although it did not lead to success. Nonetheless, she made a mark with various episodic appearances in popular shows like Gunsmoke, The Man from UNCLE, and Naked City. This paved the way for her significant role in The Rivers, a notable production starring Steve McQueen. Her performance garnered critical acclaim, making her a frontrunner for a Best Supporting Actress Oscar nomination in 1969. Despite her success, Sharon remained humble and acknowledged the challenges she faced in her career. The role of a Janis Joplin character in a segment of the television series The Name of the Game proved to be one of her most demanding roles. Despite not being a singer, she took on the challenge of singing in the show after extensive research on Janis Joplin. Nonetheless, fame came with its share of controversies. During an appearance on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson, an innocent remark about Sioux City led to negative attention. Although she clarified her statement later, the repercussions were swift and she distanced herself from her hometown for decades. Sharon's screen career eventually slowed down in 1999 when she moved to Fiji with her business manager and boyfriend. Unfortunately, this decision proved to be a turning point as she abandoned her and took control of her finances after a jet ski accident. Many believed her to be deceased during this period of her life. Throughout her eventful life, Sharon had experienced various marriages and divorces. Her first marriage to actor Andrew Prine ended within a year, followed by a brief marriage to her Hollywood manager, Ron de Blasio, which ended in an annulment. She then married John Boyer, who was also her manager, and later divorced him. A marriage to accountant Steve Silkin was also short-lived, followed by her longest marriage to the writer, Del Trevelyan, which endured for over 30 years. Sharon found solace in religion as she explored Catholicism, embracing the pomp and ceremony of the church. While information about her surviving family members, apart from her sister, remains limited, the legacy of this remarkable actress will undoubtedly live on the hearts of those who adored her talent and charm. Sioux City, Iowa, remains proud to call her their own. 
cherishing the memory of a true Hollywood princess who hailed from their midst. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notification for our channel. That way, you'll never miss a new video and be among the first to know when we post. We're always posting fresh news and we don't want you to miss out. So be sure to subscribe and turn on notification now.